Dear friends, on this auspicious day of Diwali, I would like to read from the Ninth Canto, Chapter 10, Pastimes of Lord Ramachandra. I, I was just reading now for like 30 minutes about. I want to read you one verse and then um, I have something quite important to tell you and I would like to know your opinion on that matter. But first let's read one verse. Carrying out the order of his father, who was bound by a promise to his wife, Lord Ramachandra left behind his kingdom, opulence, friends, well-wishers, residence and everything else, just as a liberated soul gives up his life and went to the forest with Sita. Okay, one more. While wandering in the forest, where he accepted a life of a hardship, carrying his invincible bow and arrows in his hand, Lord Ramachandra deformed Ravana's sister, who was polluted by lust and desires, by cutting off her nose and ears. He also killed her 14,000 Rakshasha friends, headed by Kara, Trishira and Dushana. So, Jai, Shrimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. So my dear friends, while I was shooting this video at around 7 o'clock, which is actually um, 11.30 Indian time, a friend of mine who is a foreigner but has been living in India for almost two decades, almost one and a half decade in uh, a place, one place in India, and she was actually very much disturbed uh, about the way Indian people are celebrating Diwali. Of course, you know, I'm a foreigner and I love India immensely. She's a foreigner, she loves India immensely, otherwise she would not be living in India so long there. So her uh, concerns were about the way Indian people are celebrating Diwali, especially about the firecrackers which actually increases the pollution so much. Statistically, it is said that, uh, I don't know, I would have to now do research, but she just called me, we finished talking like half an hour ago, so I don't have so much time to do the research, but the point is that we are very much aware that the pollution rises God knows how many times uh, during these three days of uh, Diwali festivities and as you can see in my video now last year this year every year when I'm here in the West in Switzerland I celebrate in a very peaceful manner also I have been celebrating many times Diwali in India but I have never uh, uh, lit any firecrackers just candles and prayers and meditation and reading uh, because you see Goshalas, for example, in Kerfor cow Goshala, there were few cows that came to the Goshala because they were blinded by these firecrackers. I have personally seen a YouTuber from America who lost his finger, one finger of his hand, when he was lighting firecrackers. Uh, I don't know how many animals get heart attacks or they're fully scared because of this immense noise that is going on day and night for three days continuously. So what is your opinion on that? Especially please let me know down below in the comments from which city of India you are watching this video. How are you celebrating Diwali? Are you lighting firecrackers? Do you know anybody animals or some family members or neighbors or anybody who were injured during this Diwali. Especially the concern of my friend and of course my concern as well is the immense, the crazy pollution that these firecrackers are, um, are, um, are making. Because this pollution goes down and then goes into Mother Earth, into the plants and later on we will eat that. So we proclaim ourselves as being very spiritually awakened or at least we try to be actually spiritually awakened but if we are not awakened towards 
Gomata, we call her Mata, we call her mother, or um, Bhumi, who is also our mother, Bharatma, who is also our mother, then how can we call ourselves transcendental people, spiritualists? Please, I really, genuinely, I am um, very curious to know what is your opinion on this subject of how we celebrate Diwali. This morning, for example, randomly came one video of one person, I don't know if he was a professor or what kind of researcher he is, but he was saying in, I don't know which scriptures, it is said that before Diwali, we offer uh, uh, prayers to the uh, our like people who have passed away. And then I guess on this day or something, they are returning back uh, to heaven. But they have lost their way and these fireworks help them light the way and find their way to heaven something like that was the video about but can we not okay if this is true okay fine but can we not at least uh, make it less like if each person lights 10 firecrackers can we not do one at least something like that what is your opinion? And I'm sorry that I, this was not scripted. I'm just speaking from my mind. Um, yeah, it is somehow Diwali is a beautiful festival, but we should be really, really very uh, conscious about the environment as well and not only about having fun. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you one more time happy Diwali and please this time with a little bit more consciousness towards Mother Earth, towards uh, Gomata and all the animals. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Shubharatri.